Welcome back to Bedrock. Things have been going well for us this week, but there's a couple of things holding us back. The first is our electronic skill, which is preventing us from crafting the automated vault doors that we need for the base. And the second is a cigar, which is preventing us from maxing out the strength skills. So the plan today is to do a quick trader run where we'll be looking for wiring 101 magazines and that cigar. Then we'll perhaps hit up some interesting POIs along the way, preferably a Mo Power store. And then with what's left for time, we'll split it between doing quests for Jen and base construction. But it's time to get out of this cave and into the blaze, so let's begin. All right, welcome back. So last night I did a little bit of decoration around here. I laid some pipe, I got some electricity hooked up, and I got the flags kind of arranged. And I'm starting to think that, uh, yes, we're going to settle into this as our sort of final decor workstation configuration here. But for all I did last night, I forgot to put all this stuff away. So let me get that sorted out. Okay, so in terms of loadout... Oh, wait a minute. I got a reflex site here for the TAC AR, but I'm looking at it. What am I looking at here? Is this how the red dot site is on this thing now? Or is there some kind of a glitch going on? Okay, reflex site on, off. Nope, there's just, it's just the glass. Okay, so the model is broken on the reflex site for the AR, for me at least. I'm not taking it off because I don't have any other sort of a sight to put on this. <laughs> anyway, I did get the shotgun and that is fully specced out and this has the proper reflex sight on it. Okay, so for today, oh, let's check the map and see if we ever did get the, uh, the, the, the bead on that treasure map that it wouldn't give us before. Nope, it still says just nearby. Oh man, my game is so bugged right now. <laughs> All right, let's do a quick trader run today. I'm looking for a cigar. I'm also looking for for electronic magazines and uh, yeah we'll probably have to do some wrenching along the way so we can get some more gas for the motorcycle and today is trader day there should be an airdrop at some point today as well all right let's see what trader jen has first top of the morning to you jenny oh she's got a reward for us okay well we can go with the tier 5 auger i can craft one myself so though so and i've already got the tier 4 anyway so uh, what do we want to do? Do we want to do steel chest armor? Because that's going to replace the iron chest armor and an armor rating of 12. Ugh, it's just one extra armor, really? You know, I don't feel like that's going to really help us that much. The crafting skill magazine bundle might be better, I guess. Let's go with the craft. Crafting skill magazine bundle. It's, it pains me to do it, but I'm going to do it anyway. SMG there. I'm not really interested in, in, in that. I'm just going to use my 9 mil for... Um, SMG turrets and yet again well we got some hackers that could be useful for today for getting some fuel sugar butts and skull crushers and uh, learning elixir out of this sure I'll take that all right on to the next trader All right, what about you, Bobby? Okay, he does have the wiring books that we need. Three of them, in fact, and two vehicle books. Oh my God, he's got a cigar. Whoa, Bobby, thank you so much. And he's got some tool magazines too. Um, Questionable, do I really want to buy that? Okay, harvesting tools. Yeah, we're definitely all set on that. We can craft the quality five auger and chainsaw if we want it. We're good on the repair tools, salvage tools. I get, you know, we're pretty much okay. We got the quality four. Uh, impact driver. So yeah, I think we're all set on tool stuff. What about your vending machine? Another sugar butt and some um, learning elixir here. Sure, one more. What's that put me up to? Nine. <laughs> I think we're all set on that front. Crafty skill magazine bundle for electrical traps. Okay, not too bad. Tactical warfare for armor. Get hammered. Getting up there. Almost maxed out on the sledgehammers. Okay, so from here... I'm going to continue scrapping cars, but we're going to head to the other Bob, who's right down there. I don't know if that's a town or what, so we'll figure that out in just a second here. Bob's always got this huge gaggle of zombies hanging out on this side of his compound. Oh, you know what? I really should have checked and seen, does he have a repair kit? Nah, we'll check the next one. Get out of here, big mama. All right, meet you there. All right, this looks like it's the spot right here. What was that? Big loud of nothing over there <laughs> what's new um yeah so this is bobby's right here this is just like a i don't know if this is a 
I don't know what this is. Is this considered like one of those crossroads, one of those like rest stop areas, and, and then the trader just spawned here? Or is this like literally just a, a middle of nowhere trader? No matter. Let's check on him and see what he's got. Anything in the vending machine here? Skull crushers, sugar butts, and I'm all set on that stuff. Hey, Bob. He's got some more wiring books. Perfect. It's, it's exactly what we're looking for to get, um... Wait, is it Tech Planet? No, that's robotics. Yeah, we want the wiring books to get the automated vault door. Foregrip mod schematic. You know, I really would like a foregrip, particularly since the uh, the red dot's not working for the TAC AR. I'll grab that. All right, well, I think that's just about it for him. Bobby, don't you have like a lookout tower here? I'd like to see what's in the area. Yeah, that one right there. Okay, yeah, there's your rest stop right there. Whoop, bird. Kill. And, oh, that looks like a military outpost right there. I might go swing by and see if that's Fort Razor, because I've been meaning to do that place, and I just haven't found it yet. Fort Razor's the one that they teased on Twitter, like, just ages ago. What are you guys doing out here? Oh, also, let's see if I can get to, a bite to eat from Bobby here. Please tell me you got some food, man. <laughs> Charred meat and pears. Not exactly what I had in mind. That's gonna have to do it though, and maybe a little bit out of here. Alright, I'm gonna munch down this food and I'll meet you over at that military outpost. Alright, here we are, rolling up on the site. Nice! Oh, this place looks great. Very authentic looking, if you ask me. Oh, very cool. There's a car that sort of crashed into the wall over there. <laughs> Looks like there were a couple of wrecks over there on the left. There's another one. Ooh, wow, that is a really nice steel shovel. I'll have that immediately. Man, you can't beat these wasteland cars and trucks for tools, man. It's like, it's the go-to place. All right, not much I can do here. I did get a repair kit out of some random uh, car and I do have some duct tape and forged iron so I can make another repair kit and I'll just Repair the bike up a little bit. That's only oh, that's almost all that we needed right there It's up to 90% durability now. All right bit of a freelance mission here today. What do we got? Oh rad Oh geez, right cuz we're in the wasteland. So it's gonna be like a lot of rads here. Oh Jeez man Corey Perez With the brutal left hook now I got the birds on me. Whoa Okay, making a mess of things now. Luckily, my armor seems to hold up pretty well, so even though I got just locked by that rat, I'm still in good shape. Oh, these guard towers, man. I spent so many hours in guard towers like this. Oh, jeez. Don't want to remember those days. Long, long days. We used to do 12 hours on, 12 hours off at some points. When I was on my way for leave, because I, I was overseas for a year, but uh, at your halfway point, roughly, you get to come home for a couple of weeks, just for some R&R. &R. And um, on my, it, it was like a month long journey to get back home and then get back to my unit again. So like when I was in that transition time where I was trying to like, you know, you go from your little outpost base to, you know, your forward operating base, then you get, you know, pulled back to the main base, like the airfield. And that whole process, you know, you'd spend a couple of days here, a couple of days there, and they make good use of you <laughs> when you're doing that. Whoa. Uh, so they'll put you on guard duty and you'll do like 12 on 12 off in a guard tower like that in 112 degree weather and you just kind of hope that you're on day shift because it is not easy to sleep in the middle of the day in tents like this in the middle of friggin Kandahar. Right, oh, got a dog here. This might be a little bit more interesting on infestation I feel like. Shotgun magazine. It's uh, it's one of those places where there doesn't appear to be a sort of you know, more or less linear layout maybe there is because it kind of pulls you in this way and then wants you to hook around that way whoa big man's here oh that's why i got the big guns now and a little bit worse for wear now are we stockpiling bear parts i'm not sure take the wood i do know that yep this is exactly what those tents look like on the inside too <laughs> it's just racks everywhere hey laser sight mod hey no 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 none of that all right, honestly, I'm, I'm kind of done with the whole acid thing. I've got like 30 or 40 acid back home. Oh, you would drop a loot bag out there just because I can't get back there easily. All kinds of these barrels everywhere. You could have a lot of fun with that, especially the infestation. Just kind of kite the zombies around. And then when the time is right, you let them have it with a shotgun blast. Right, just like that. Oh, that made a real mess over here too. 
Oh, there's a lot of rads here. Ow. Yep, shotgun's working pretty good, despite the fact that these are armored, radiated soldiers. Good to go, and I'd say that was probably the main loot area over here. Yeah, I can see it right in there. Tier 3. Just gonna take care of you. I'm gonna explore that tower in just a second here. Oh, yes, more power. That's what we need. More power stuff. Oh, that's pretty cool here, as if they were, like, uh, searching for people or something. They got the radio. Coffee pot, yep. <laughs> Can't have an outpost without a coffee pot. Oh, what is this? Military goods just sitting on the table like I've, I've never seen that before. For a couple of magazines, kind of <laughs> disappointing. Oh, three skill points to spend, and you know what? We've got the, um, whoop, look out. We've got the cigar now, so I can spend those straight into, like, shotguns and stuff. Yes, here we go, shotguns, skull crusher, and big and fast. Another military goods thing over here with explosives. Man, I, I haven't read very many of those, have I? Military boots, and getting kind of full up on the inventory now. I've been scrapping too many cars. Yes, more electrical traps. Actually, that's not exactly the one that we need. And we're in. You know, this one is... The loot stage here should be pretty high. That's actually quite disappointing. Not what I was expecting or hoping for. Guess I'll take some of the electrical parts while I'm right here. All right, I think that just about does it for this place and we're losing daylight, so let's move on to the next trader after I figure out what exactly is in this tower here. Unlock just some uh, spotlights, I guess. The only thing that they're missing is like the, the camouflage netting. So you have a lot of netting and stuff so that people can't see if you're inside or not. All right, where are we off to next? I think we're cutting straight east to Trader Hugh. Oh, hey, just rolling right through here on my way over to Hugh and I found a Mo Power store. Have I searched these before? Nope. Oh, that was it for the Needle and Thread series there. Hmm. Well, we're really full on the inventory right now, but I do definitely want to go in there and see what I can find. All right, that'll have to do it. Let's just, just go right straight through here. I mean, I'm just looking for magazines, honestly, and it's only a tier two, and then, um... Yeah, we're, I think we're, we might miss out on Trader Hugh over there. If I wasn't already in the doorway, I'd go check on him first and we'd do this in the middle of the night, but I'll just try to make short work of this place. There we go right there, wiring books, exactly what we're here for. You know what I've just recently learned, too, is that these are harvestable for electrical parts and polymer. I never, ever knew that until, I don't know, I was watching some YouTube video and um, someone was had explained that. All right, there should be a couple of other boxes here somewhere, though. I think they're usually, there's one. There we go. And then these shelves here, yeah, potentially could have them, I think, too. Okay, I found a ton of those magazines and I, there's a ton more electrical parts to be had. I just don't think that we need them anymore at this point. One more box and I think we're heading out to Trader Hughes. Yes, look at the magazines. And I, I haven't, I read a whole bunch, but there's a whole bunch just sitting in the inventory because I got sick of reading them every time. But there we go. We're up to tier three batteries, I guess. Oh, and we're up to tier four powered doors. That might've been exactly enough to get the, uh, the automated vault doors. Is there ATM out here? No, okay. Quickly then to Trader Hughes. All right, one last check for eye candy. No, what is it with the eye candy? Can't find them anywhere. All right, Hugh, anything good here? Rad remover, I guess I'll take that for something. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, I could buy these explosive magazines. <laughs> no inventory space, I guess that settles it. All right, who's lurking out here? You two. So electrician, does that mean, um, oh, I've never seen it quite like this before. So I've unlocked all of the power doors and now we're back to batteries. We're just working into higher quality batteries for the remainder of these electrician magazines. Okay, so tonight we can probably get those vault doors. Yes, vault doors powered for 15 steel a piece. Oh boy. Okay, that's quite a bit. I think I have enough though. Oh, yes, welcome home and Jeez, we got screamers hanging out topside. What's new? 
still mildly concerning. Okay, so, oh, we got a ton of work to do up here still. Maybe that's what I'll do tonight. I'll do a little bit of digging up here. We'll try to get the pad laid down. I, there's another screamer here somewhere. Are you down there? She is. Why are you down here? Did I get her? Yep, she's done. All right, well, let me get organized and we'll get to work. All right, here we go. We're topside now. I brought some lanterns with me because I was wondering... Yeah, you know, eventually I'll put up some kind of a system here so that there's good illumination. But I think just for tonight, I'll just kind of set them down in the corners like so. All right, the first project then for the night is... I guess it's... Okay, yeah, so somebody dug that little divot there, I think. So the... The pad on this end should probably come out at least to, like, right here. Who's running up on me? You stupid screamer. Ah, always with this freaking screamer mess around here. Oh, whoa, two for one on that one. Okay, and a little bit off of my timing there. There we go. All right, so just had a quick bite to eat and drink. And yeah, it looks like, so we'll have to come over a little bit further on this end. I think to here is fine. We'll have to do some digging over there. We'll have to put some fence work up. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. All right, let's begin. All right, that just about does it for today. I'm out of shapes. I'm not out of materials and more materials are rolling in, but I think I'll save the rest of it. It's just a matter of putting the fence in. It's cobblestone on the bottom and concrete on the top at zombie head height. So let me get everything put away and I'll get some extra ammo and stuff and we'll go grab a quest from Trader Gen. Maybe we'll do like a tier four infestation or, or you know, tier five infestation. All right, here we are. Let's go check the vending machine this morning and see if anything has changed over there. Survey says nothing has changed. Huh, well, I don't know. It's not that I'm looking for the dukes. I'm just looking to see if it's like actually a thing. We know that it's a thing though because I've sold some armor pieces in there. But uh, as far as selling those big stacks of stone, no cigar just yet. There we go. Eye candy for today. You and Jenny. Oh, another it. special job to the west. To I got jobs for someone like you. Oh, that's the trader. This is the trader Bob that we know or that we you know we've been you. seeing all along. Okay. Good. And the only option for infested We're clear is the NFD downtown HQ. Oh. That sounds like fun. If Let's do it. There it is. Ah, uh, yes, the old Ghostbusters one. That's a tier four? Wow, that's impressive. Oh, look out, zombies. All right, well, there's no sense in waiting around. Let's search this and head inside. Here we go, tier five infestation. <laughs> Jeez, uh, why do I do this to myself? All right, who's in here? Rad's already just one though, and it's a big mama. Whoop, there's another one, Arlene. Fine, the shotgun was built for this. Oh, and that just reminds me, this is an old tier five sledgehammer. If I were to get a new tier five sledgehammer, I think I'd get the extra mod slot for it. So maybe worth recrafting one. Although it's gonna be a huge steel investment. That's the big bottleneck right now is steel, I guess. Um, maybe we should put some more points into intellect and that way we can put some more points into like uh, workbenches and stuff. I'm not listening to this all day. Come over here. There he is. And then I was also thinking this is an old tack assault rifle from before the update that, you know, changed the mod slots. Or was it? Because this has the four mod slots. I don't know why this is it. Let me know in the comments if this the, the site is not working for you. The red dot site. I find that kind of weird. Yeah, it might be just about time to, uh, you know, like reinstall the game or something. Verify game files. I don't know. Hello. Whoa. All right, stay topped off with the painkillers. Should have brought some water or something with me. Okay, into the back area. I do, oh, I like this. Pretty nice place. Got some barrels to blow up if I need to. I've woken some people up somewhere. Are they, they sound like they're above me. Ah, here they are. Ah, right, here's my chance right here. <laughs> A couple of killer Joes. Couple, three of them, in fact. Take that. Too easy. Oh yeah, they were uh, working on the car in here or something. Another barrel under this car. Yes, I gotta keep an eye out for these things. It could become a health hazard for me. Working stiff box here, scrapping for fun. There's some water for me. Oh geez, a pair of bikers. 
<laughs> oh, that's funny. Are you dead? Not yet. Getting there. It hasn't particularly felt, you know, infested just yet. Whoa. Just getting, you know, onesies and twosies here and there. Nothing too crazy yet. This would make a pretty cool base, wouldn't it? I'd like to live here. Oh, that's a rad cop. Let's just not have you spitting all over the place. You want to blow up? That's fine with me. Oh, got some. Uh, got a bird problem up here. Oh, that's a <laughs> got a gun not loaded problem as well. Oh boy, making a mess. Ah, run. Yeah, we're good. He looks like he did some collateral damage too. Oh, I like that. Jump from one roof to the next. Oh yeah, we're still. We haven't even. That's like the main fire building right there, isn't it? Maybe that's where we're off to next. Nope, we're into this room. This is a pretty involved tier four, I would say. I actually quite like the uh, the red dot laser on this. Seems to be working pretty well for me. Oh, good morning, officer. <laughs> and good night. Another one over here. Another wiring book up to 78. And this is leading back to the parking lot area. This looks like a bit of a fight here. If I had to say something is gonna, yep, open that door for me. Thanks, POI, love it. And that takes care of that problem. Oh, the restore power would be in there. Okay, now we're into the main event. Yeah, what a cool base this would make, wouldn't it? Let's get in here and see what this place looks like. Nice, like, pull-through garage. That would be fun. Yep, here we go. Three zombies in here. It's not too bad. Oh, one of them's a rad cop. There we go. It's hard to withstand the three or four point-blank shots to the face when you're doing 18 damage per pellet, and you got, what, eight pellets? Ten pellets. 180 damage a pop, plus, like, the, you know, the headshot bonus dismemberment chance. Oh, oh, that's fancy. <laughs> I like that. Aha, yes. Spiral staircase heading up. I know that this, it's it's not easy to escape zombies. They'll chase you right straight down these things now, or up them. As we found out at the nursing home there the other day. Oh, jeez. They came flying around that corner there. Oh, the pole, the pole to go all the way to the bottom. That's pretty cool. If only you could like, you know, stick to it like a ladder, you know? That'd be cool. Oh, I saw, oh, I see uh, green reflections. Nice. Right, reload while I have the chance, and yep, line right up for me. Abrasion. Oh, jeez. There we go. Take a quick bandage for that. Oh, jeez. I'm blowing holes in the wall. Aha, yes, climbing rope to the top. Cool. I wish I could craft a climbing rope. That would be kind of cool. Uh, I think it wants me to dump off over here, though, if I had to guess. Oh, health bar. I already have that. I, I, I need that working stiff tool calendar, though. Aha, I was like, I was looking at that little hole in the wall like, what is that? I don't know what exactly that is, but it helped me get the drop on these couple of zombies here. Yeah, I don't know. It looks like this little portion is broken or something. Or it's... You know what happened is, uh, for some reason, there's an extra exercise bike here, and that just deleted those two wall sections. Not sure how that happened. Could be a POI glitch. Could be a... <laughs> You know, my build is not very stable glitch, not sure yet. Yeah, I'm definitely a little bit, just a little bit eager to kind of get a, a, a new stable series going. Although, do let me know if you're experiencing like weird problems like I am as well. Who knows, at this point I'm running, uh, I don't know, four or five mods, so it could be a mod situation too. You just, it's hard to say with this game sometimes. Okay, we're heading up to the rooftop. This might be it. I. Yes, there's the infested cache right there. Okay, so if there's zombies up here, I don't want them messing everything up. Yeah, so I'd be inclined to like pull them down maybe, down to the uh, the, the, the area down there. Cause there's, oh, see there's a soldier right there. Yeah, cause there's gonna be like 15 zombies. I can see a hazmat person over there. What if I just snuck along over here for a second? Okay, I can. See the hazmat people over there. There's three of them. And there's a couple people hiding behind this over here. All right, well, let's kick things off by uh, killing them, at least. <laughs> right in between them. Yeah, that's it for them. Oh, we've got a whole bunch over here. Yes, uh, everybody. Oh, it's mutated. No, no, no. They're going to wreck everything. 
Come downstairs, please, everybody. Ow. One of them blew up or spit or whatever. Hold the line. Okay. Down to the next line then. Ow. Okay. Bleeding. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Bailing over the edge. I think I sprained something. No, I'm good. I did hurt myself a little bit on the fall there. Yes. Come down here, everybody. Is that it? That kind of felt like it was it. I think we're good here. Uh, yes, area is clear. We've done it. Doesn't look like I lost any loot. Invested cash is still here at least. Okay, so we've got the eye candy. Take that. And we'll see what we get here. All right, we're into the main loot then. Ooh, okay, well... Fireman's Almanac book, that's appropriate. A lever action rifle. Man, we're just not getting great loot, are we here? All right, well, I guess we're heading back to Jen's then. We'll get our quest reward today and then maybe grab a quest for first thing tomorrow morning. I'd like to maybe do the crack -a book tower. I feel like that would be pretty brutal. <laughs> Imagine the crack -a book tower on infestation, though. Yikes. All right, we're off to Jen's then. All right, Jenny, what you Here's got for me? For a job Ooh, well a nice impact driver. Honestly, that's, it's gotta be the one, I think. It's gonna increase our block damage just a little bit. Yeah, sure. And a job for tomorrow. How about Shong Tower? No thanks. Higashi, Poppin' Pills Factory, or the Karen Higashi residence. You know what? I'd like to do that one. Not today, tomorrow. All right, back to the base then, and we've got more work to do. There's always more work to do, right? <laughs> You know what? This cop car has been here for ages, and I, I don't think I ever actually unlocked this or did anything to it. Nope, it's just been sitting here. It's not your fight. All right, let's bust into this and see at our game stage right now what this fight is going to look like. Okay, we did definitely get the zombies. Terry Brady over here, another feral, followed by a couple of guys over here. Got a good group knockdown on them. Matt, die, and a cop. Whoops, look out. And another zombie over here. I'm not sure if that was regular zombie or what. Cass here. Goodbye. Okay, definitely not that bad at this game stage. The loot, however, should be great in here. I just I wanted to do that while I had the looting candy. Just a little bit of ammo, though. Unfortunate. How are we looking on the, the SMG turret front, though? I feel like we got a whole bunch of... Yes, we got enough trap magazines today at the at the Mo Power Store. All right, so that's... Uh, we need to work on crafting for a little bit. Crafting also... Crap, I forgot to dig up this corner over here. Let me just do that real fast. Okay, that's it for that project. I'll come up here and fill that in a little bit later on. All right, that's the rest of my stuff. What do we have left for projects then? We need to do a project to get the SMG turrets put up, like four of them. Got to craft those as well. Got to finish upgrading the pad. Got to finish the fence, and that will do it for up here. We've got to do the shaft all the way down, and then we have the whole ceiling project. So we got to do a ceiling to our area, a ceiling to the zombie fighting area. We have to do also walls to the zombie pit down here. And why in the world is that light over there green? What the? They're, what? They're all green. What is going on here? Why? Why are these ones green? Oh, I don't know. But there's a there's a definitely a screamer upstairs somewhere. Now that one's green. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on today? Oh, geez. I feel like I need to, uh, I need to log out or something. Refresh the game. All right. Well, she definitely screamed, so we got a bit of a fight here. Get out of here. Oh. All right. We're good. All right. Fresh login. Yes. Lights are fixed. <laughs> oh, what's going on? All right, we're looking good down here. I am working on some automated vault doors right there. We can hook those up in just a second. I did have a look and see about crafting some new SMG turrets, and that's going to take... Oh, there's a real wandering horde over here. Yeah, that's going to take something like 46 steel a pop, and I just I don't have enough steel to even make one. Uh, what little steel I did have went into making those vault doors. Speaking of, let's get those set up. We got more zombies. Another screamer down here. Jeez. Ah, uh, yes. Just, just like this. So hinges facing up, and I'll just slide that right in on both sides. Right. Then we just have to hook them up off of these. I've already got the switches ready for them. Just hope that they can reach. Of course they cannot, can they? Urgh. Just make sure that that'll reach to that door. Yes. All right. Let's give that a test run. Yep. 
You can hear the doors open just like that. So when one side gets all beat up or they can't path on it anymore, we can just shut it down and open up the other one. Okay, what's next? So I think I'm just waiting mostly for materials right now and block shapes and, oh my goodness, that's quite a lot actually, 217. Let's, um, let's just do this now. Let's uh, get the wall done in here. I think things will look a lot nicer once this is finished. You know what, I was just getting set up to do that and I've decided that no, instead what I wanna do is work on permanent lighting. All right, and I haven't really thought much about where I'm gonna put these just yet, but for starters, let's try and put them. Hmm, let's see about maybe just copy shape, copy rotation on this one. Slide this in like this, just kind of shore up the gaps there and then maybe see about a spotlight right there and right there. Let's hook that up and see what it looks like. Generator to you, you to you. And that's looking very nice so far. Maybe if I could just aim it down toward the middle. Okay, yes, that's better down here. All right, that'll do for now. Let's just carve out this wall and put in a permanent wall system. All right, so I'm gonna continue working on this until it's done. I, you know, once I start a big project, I can't stop until it's finished. I, there's, it's just difficult for me to stop halfway through, which has made this whole base build a little bit of a challenge. So in the next episode, we'll do the Karen Higashi residence, new tier five. Then we should be just about getting to the point where we're like finalizing construction on the base. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.